Let's talk about religion. I know it's touchy, but we can do it. First, did you know America has no official religion? Let me explain. In the First Amendment, the Bill of Rights begins with these words. Congress shall make no law respecting the establishment of religion. This is called the Establishment Clause. It means the Constitution forbids the federal government from enacting any laws that say this country is based on one religion or another. We call this separation of church and state. Remember, the pilgrims and so many other religious groups left Europe to come over here to escape religious oppression. The framers of the Constitution saw other countries fighting over religion and did not want that to happen here. That's why this country has no established religion. Um, but here's the tricky part. You may have noticed the words, in God we trust, on our money. And Congress opens every session with a prayer. And, and in schools, students recite the Pledge of Allegiance when they say one nation under God. And, and, and the president say, so help me God, when they take the oath of office. It's confusing. Students do not have to say one nation under God. As a matter of fact, students cannot be forced to say the Pledge of Allegiance at all. It's tradition, not law. Presidents added the so help me God part to their oath. It's not in the Constitution. They just like saying it. And what about the money? In God We Trust was added by President Eisenhower in 1955 when he was afraid of nuclear war. He wanted to get God on our side. But there are still hot debates on whether this violates the Constitution. The good news is we also have freedom of religion. That's the second line of the First Amendment, prohibiting the free exercise thereof. That's called the Free Exercise Clause. It means we have the right to practice any religion we choose, or none at all. We can be born into one religion and then change to another one. We can attend religious services every day or stay at home and watch it on television. Parents have the power to raise their children with any or no religious beliefs. In America, once a person grows up, they have religious choices. Of course, with all our constitutional rights, even religion, there are limits and accommodations, balancing the right to religious practices over here with the rights of someone else over there. The Constitution says no religious test shall ever be required for public office. So no politician ever has to be of a certain religion to serve in our government or to run for office. And whatever religion you practice cannot be used to hurt you. That's discrimination. <sighs> that was tough, but we did it. Time to review. The Constitution prohibits the United States from having any official religion. That's called the Establishment Clause. But we all have the freedom to exercise a religion or practice no religion at all. That's the Free Exercise Clause. These are our constitutional rights, and this is your democracy. Keep it strong.